Shalom, 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 Christ bless. Hey, Shalom, 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 Christ bless. Why did you join IUIC? Why did I join IUIC? <clears throat> well, I was looking, you know, at the time, uh, I was looking and I was searching because uh, I knew the Bible had a lot more to offer than what my, you know, my church was able to give. And it was one day I, I was on Facebook and I noticed was a brother named Azariah, right? Um, he was uh, he was an Israelite. He is an Israelite. He was actually still with the body, and uh, he was answering a lot of questions that people had questions to. And these were questions that you know I never even thought to ask. Neither was they questions I thought was possible to be answered. But he was answering them, and I ended up reaching out to him. And uh, you know, he we went over some scriptures, and he, he we were we were going over the phone for I would say two weeks, right? Because I was, again, I was just coming out of the Christian church and he was answering a lot of questions I had. And after two weeks, he actually gave me the phone number to Officer Gabriel. And from there was uh, history. How long have you been congregating with IUIC? You've been con this October right here made uh, three years and two months. What made you decide to look for the most high? <laughs> now, that's the part. Um, what made me decide to look for the most high? Um, I was one of those brothers who, who had to go through some stuff before I repented, you know what I mean? Uh, I know a lot of brothers just, you know, they hear Deuteronomy 28 and uh, that's all it took and they moved forward after that point. But uh, when I first heard the truth, I was in the world, young brother, had a lot of money, had multiple cars, and, you know, had a whole different life. You know, I was married in the world, I had children in the world <clears throat> and at the time, I wasn't really looking for the most high because in my mind, I thought the false sense of prosperity I had, uh, you know, made me feel like the Christian church was telling me the truth. So it was brothers, uh, I was just running into people like uh, this one brother named Isaiah. <clears throat> he was just, hey man, you know you're an Israelite. I knew him from mutual friends. And I'd be like, man, whatever, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you know, the law is done away with, you know what I mean? So, and then I would run into other people uh, and they would say different things like that here and there. And I more so just ignored it. And then, you know, the trials and tribulation came after that, you know, um, over the course of that, from when I first heard it, uh, most I had to take everything away. Took away that money at the time, took away the cars, took away the family I had in the world, took away the children. And... You know, at that point, my life was, you know, spiraling out of control. And that's when, again, to connect it back to the first question, that's when I was on Facebook and I stumbled across the brother Azariah, knocking out different questions. And, you know, he said he was an Israelite, and I remembered that, uh, you know, different people was coming up to me, like Isaiah and different people like that, saying, hey, you know, you're an Israelite, and I was always brushing them off. But I tell you this, before I actually reached out to Brother Azariah, I was looking at the things that he was saying about the slave trade being our history and the fact that Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the Israelites. And in my Christian mind, I thought that, you know, I had the understanding to disprove what the Israelites was teaching. So I was going behind the scenes in my own home trying to disprove what these brothers were saying. I was watching um, different videos from different camps, you know, I was watching GOCC and, and all these different places like that. And I was watching IUIC also. And I was trying to disprove what the, the brothers were saying. And the more I tried to disprove it, the more I realized what they were saying is absolutely correct. And uh, that's when I actually reached out to Azariah. And he reached out back to me. We exchanged phone numbers, you know, and he ended up introducing me to Officer Gabriel. So yeah, that's something I was, I was yeah, and, and you know, when he did that, you know, um, well, I, I'll answer the next question, but what scripture sealed the deal for you to walk in truth? What scripture sealed the deal for me to walk in the truth? Uh, this is going to sound funny, but, you know, Philippians chapter 3, verse 8. Uh, let me read that. The book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 8. Because again, it took for me to lose everything to come into the truth, right? It says, the book of Philippians, chapter 3 and verse 8. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss 
for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may win Christ. Um, that right there really helped solidify the deal for me because now I understood that, um, you know, a lot of times coming to this truth, we have to be willing to lose everything for the most part, regardless of what that may be, you know, for, for the betterment of ourselves, for our nation, and for pushing this truth. Uh, that's what kind of sealed the deal for me, and knowing that this walk won't be easy, but it'll definitely be worth it. What makes you continue to stay with the IUIC? Uh, that, that right there is a beautiful question, because, again, recollecting on where I was when I first came into IUIC, I know for a fact that I don't ever want to go back to that old man, you know. Um, when I first came into IUIC, my life was spiraling out of control, finding myself in the midst of all type of folly. And, you know, the, the most high put, I, you know, the most high himself created IUIC uh, to push his laws. And when, I, and when my wickedness came face to face with uh, IUIC for the first time, it's like uh, it's, it's like I hit a brick wall. You know, it was an abrupt stop to the majority of my foolishness uh, because you know, the laws of God were there and it was evident. And it was evident that these brothers was, was different than anything I've ever seen growing up. The way they can circumnavigate themselves through the scriptures, and the way they not only teach but apply the law. I see, you know, I see their uh, brothers' families and you know the wives and the children. And I say, like, wow, these people are different than any other people I've ever seen in the face of Earth. Like, seriously, these people my, behind closed doors, in front of it, doors open. People, these people are decent people. You know what I mean? The brothers and sisters here at IUIC are decent people. Got their house together, and I want, I want that for my household. Um, I feel deep down in my heart that the Most High is dealing with IUIC. Why would I walk away from that? You know, why would I? jump off this train. And guess what? Regardless if I jump off the train or not, train will keep pushing. I want to be on it. So that's why I stay. Quote your favorite scripture. <clears throat> uh, quote my favorite scripture. Uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 5. The reason I chose this scripture right here, it actually uh, st 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 uh, stands out to me a lot. And this is the reason being. It says, i read it again. The Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So about that gold tried in the fire, is if you really take the time and think about how gold is formed, right? You, you know, people have their gold rings, their gold chains, and but did you ever stop to think about how that gold was when it was first taken out of the ground? You know, you, you, know, you, you have the gold miners, and you know, they're able to see potential in something before, you know, anybody else is able to. They, they find this dirty piece of rock that if you show the untrained eye, it has no value, right? But this person can, is able to see the value in a filthy rock, right? And he takes this rock, brings it to <clears throat> the blacksmith, right? And the blacksmith also sees the potential in this rock. And, you know, they put it in the fire, right? And begin to burn all the impurities out of it. And after they take it out of the fire, you know, they, 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 they hammer it, hammer it, hammer it to start to form it into a shape, right? And then if, if they still see impurities in this gold, they throw it back in the fire. And they repeat this process over and over and over until all the impurities is burned out of this gold, in which what, at one point you saw is just a filthy rock. So now they take this gold out, right? And they begin to buff it just to make sure that it's perfectly clean, free from impurities. And the only time that they know this gold is clean and pure is when they can see their own reflection in the gold, right? So it started off as a filthy rock, and it came to the point where the maker is able to see his reflection in the gold. And that's what I see when I see this, because the Most High is trying to turn us into a reflection of his son, Christ. He's trying to take an imperfect group of people and make them perfect, right, without spot or blemish. And that is, I believe, what we're all striving for. Yeah, we may fall a little bit here and there, but I endure with IUIC because I feel like this is the church, this is the train, this is the movement that the Most High set forth for me personally to continue and endure with until Christ come back.
working so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sounds wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.